Thank you very much. Good afternoon, and uh, great to be here. My name is Razi. Along with me is Sergey, uh, head of our data science. I'm the CEO of Featurebyte. And Sergey is also one of the top-ranked data scientists in the world. Um, always gets embarrassed when I say that. Uh, we're going to be talking about a problem that I think faces pretty much every one of you. Uh, fraud is something that affects every single financial institution out there. And just in the US alone, it costs $9 billion a year in losses. So you have uh, teams of fraud experts, data scientists, data engineers, basically working around the clock to build um, really performant AI models uh, to predict and prevent fraudulent activity. Now, one of the biggest challenges for, the, for these teams is the time it takes to actually prepare data uh, in order to build a model, as well as the time it takes to actually deploy those data pipelines in production. It's not very uncommon to take months in order to get this, this entire end-to-end uh, -end activity going. And the question is, OK, well, uh, during this time, you know, during these months, you may have millions of dollars basically leaking out of the, the, the system. So what can you do about that? Let me take this opportunity to introduce FeatureByte. We specifically solve this problem. Uh, we allow data scientists uh, and data engineers on your team to go from raw data that's sitting in your data warehouses or your data lakes to fully managed and fully governed AI pipelines in a matter of minutes. It's a game-changing platform. Uh, and again, you heard me right from months to minutes. Uh, the question is, how do you do it? We're going to show you right now. So what you see here is Sergey's connected uh, feature byte to a Snowflake instance that contains uh, some of the data around customers, uh, transactions in this case, credit card transactions, as well as some information about the transactions themselves. It doesn't need to be Snowflake. It could be any other SQL database or uh, a Spark instance uh, like Databricks or uh, other Spark instances. And the, the first step in the modeling process, what we're going to do now is prepare the data to build a fraud detection, fraud prevention uh, AI model. So the first step in the process for any of these modeling activities is to take the data and really understand the semantics behind the data. And this is something that's typically done very manually. But what Sergey has done is he's actually asked the AI to figure out the semantics automatically, which it did. And you have a series of, of semantics associated with each of the columns uh, of data that you saw in the data warehouse. The next step is to actually go and figure out the kinds of signals that exist in the data that are going to be informative about creating a really good fraud detection model. So again, this is an activity that involves uh, data scientists working very closely with fraud experts uh, and data engineers. But in this case, uh, what Sergey is doing is asking the AI to figure out and ideate these signals, or what are called features, in the AI ML parlance in an automated fashion. Uh, so what, this, you know, what you see here is the feature byte system actually came back with 662 of these different signals, uh, ranked by relevance, along with a whole host of information associated with it. So if we take a look at one of these, there's an English language description of the signal. Uh, there is code associated with it which is automatically generated, as well as really cool is a, an explanation for why this particular signal, why this feature is potentially predictive in figuring out fraudulent transactions and hopefully helping you stop those, uh, prevent those transactions from going through. So the next step in the process for a data scientist is to pick a handful of these signals create a feature list, or basically a basket of signals that will be used to now go off and train models and ultimately use uh, the data for predictions. So uh, Sergey's selected a handful of those. And as soon as the, the feature list, the, the basket of features that 
or signals that uh, Sergey created. As soon as those appear in the feature catalog, there you go, it's uh, Finn, uh, is the name of uh, the feature list. Basically, you've got these model, uh, you've got these features, you've got these signals actually fully deployed uh, in a completely managed and governed manner. So you, we, what we showed you is we've gone from you know, raw data in uh, Snowflake Data Warehouse all the way to fully deployed and sort of managed and governed pipelines in the few minutes or, uh, you know, that we were uh, doing the demo here. So all of these signals actually go and live inside a catalog uh, so that either Sergey or other data scientists uh, from his team or other teams can come in and basically use what's already been done to now work on other problems. And th those could be around credit risk, um, you know, could be around preventing churn, uh, underwriting, marketing, et cetera, et cetera. So the n number and the, the sort of variety of use cases for AI ML uh, are just endless in any, any financial institution. So again, what we showed you is a game-changing AI that actually we just launched this morning. So you're one of the first ones that are seeing this live. Um, we announced this. Please go and take a look uh, at our website. Of course, we're in the demo area. Come and talk to us. We believe this is a game changer in the way data science will actually get done, because this is one of the toughest problems. It's been around for more than a decade uh, without being solved in the manner that we've been able to do. And look forward to speaking with you, as well as connecting with some of your data science and, and data engineering teams. Thank you very much.